Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and we are badass Brittany today. We're going to kill some rebels for our vassal, because our vassal seems a tiny bit incompetent. But that's okay. I don't really hold that against him. We should probably colonize that for our vassal. Ah, but they wouldn't have a connection. Anywho. Mm. Brexico is looking good. Jumbo Gumbo Jambalaya is nice and happy as well. And uh, this is California up here, right? California? Yeah, this is California. So I'm just going next California, I guess. Uh, who's up here? Oh, you have no allies anymore. Ooh. Why you no allies? You have a truce with just the tip and Maple Leaf Warehouse. Good job. Guten Jobin. Damn it, France. Why did you ally the Hansa? Why? And holy shit, you are losing so badly, Hansa. The Hanseatic purge of Gelray heresy, and the Hansa is getting their shit pushed in so hardcore. I do not see French armies, but I'm assuming they're here. I'm assuming France is not sending anyone over here. Uh, that's all Sweden, yeah. It's almost the same flag as Sweden, but those are Swedish troops. But it looks like France is just not really helping. They're being useless. Kind of the way I am when I don't want to really help in a war, they're doing that. And uh, that's kind of making things tough on uh, the Hansa. They might even kick that alliance because, well, who wants to have an ally who doesn't help? No, 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 I take that back. France is invading Gelray. Okay, they, no, they are sieging. In fact, they're sieging everything. They're sieging like five provinces at the same time. So France is putting in some effort. Uh, but it looks like the Hansa has pretty much given up the ghost. And since the Hansa is the war leader, yeah, the Hansa is the war leader, then there's just, France ain't really going to do anything. No matter what France does, is not going to change the outcome of the war because it's already 45 in uh, the Gelray's favor. Anywho, we're improving relations with Russia. Uh, what can we do over here? Poland. Poland. Poland and Austria are at war. Thankfully, neither of them called me in because I, I would have had to join. I would hate to lose an alliance. Um, where there's nobody we can really hire. For, oh, no, that's not true. Yay, we have a level one guy available. He just became available. You can tell You can tell he just became available because he's 30. Look at this guy. He's 65. 16% chance to die every year, and he is just defying those odds year after year after year. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we have Queen Anne de Trastamara. Praise to her. And she has a son, Pierre. I'm very happy about this. We have the same dynasty now as Aragon, Portugal, Spain, and Naples, meaning there's a decent chance that at some point we'll have an opportunity to go claim some thrones. And I would love to get Naples and Spain. Can you imagine having Naples, Spain, and Portugal as our bitches? Oh my goodness. That'd just be amazing. It'd be amazing. They might be slightly upset if we claim thrones, but hey, claiming thrones is a part of the job, my friend. If we don't do it, who's going to, you know? National institutions. Lose stability or lose a bunch of points? Eh. We're pretty much at zero anyway. But yeah, now that we've um, handed out a lot of provinces to our vassals here, our overextension's down to pretty much nothing. So that's nice. We don't have to core a damn thing. I don't... Uh-oh. Uh New governor in just the tip? Or... Um... No, that's fine. I do like having maximum prestige, though. That's real nice. Maximum prestige is go. Uh-oh. Portugal has declared war on Galicia. Yep. So that's going to be it for Galicia. I don't know. That's maybe. Maybe. Spain declared war on them, and then all they took was some ducats. So maybe Portugal just wants the ducats, too. Who knows? Nah, they'll probably keep it. They'll probably keep it. Spain seems like a... I mean, Portugal seems like they're just going to be douches over there. Oh, my God. The rebels... What is with all these rebels? Holy crap. Alright, kill the rebels. I'm here to help you, little vassal. I'm here to help. You wanna be my buddy? Fine, I'll be your buddy. Portuguese Louisiana wants to be a buddy, so sure, whatever. I'm not overly enthusiastic about it, but I won't complain much. Oh wow, you guys have no allies. 
everyone keeps breaking all their alliances over here. It's very odd. Mm, kill them. Please to be kill. There you go. And they're dead. Come back. Oh my god, so many rebels. And now they're in my land. Hey, get out of there. This land ain't your land. This land is my land. You jerk. Okay. If I put on hunt rebels, will you kill this guy? Or will you not? You will not. You... Oh, that's so stupid. You can't hunt rebels in your vassal's land. It doesn't work. Isn't that dumb? It's a little dumb. So kill him in that order. And the Hansa is losing at 49% and growing. And Poland is losing to Austria. Okay. Actually, they're technically winning, even though they're getting sieged out. Oh, what happened to uh, Savoy? It looks like they didn't lose any land. Uh, yeah, it looks like Savoy didn't lose any... Oh, that's right. They, they had to give up Pisa to Naples. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. Hmm... I think the next thing I want to do is break my marriage with France. I'm just not happy with that marriage. As much as much as it would be great to have just a small chance of getting some random union or something over him, since his prestige is low, there is a small chance for that. Um, I think just having that extra relationship is kind of dragging me down. I'm not too happy about that. You know? There you go. The Hansa has surrendered. They'll give Finn to Denmark, and they'll pay 60 ducats, and that's it. Really? After, the, after all that, you only made him give one province away? What a joke. But yeah, France did lose that war, so that's nice. And Galway is now losing a war to Brunswick, Riga, and Liege. Really? Really? Um, hold on. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, no, yeah, well, okay. So Galway army was probably destroyed by France, so they can't really do anything here. And Galway is the only one in that war, wow. Interesting. Uh, very different, that's for sure. All right, yeah, go back to Portugal. And how's Spain? Spain's pretty good, but go top them off anyway. Why not? Kill the rebels. Kill the rebels. <laughs> Colonies are doing just fine. Thank you so much. Hmm, 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 You still want to be an ally of mine? You do, but for now, let's just go for relations. That's the thing. I don't want to have too many alliances. What do we have that's causing the extra the extra relations? We have a marriage with France, uh-huh. And then just a bunch of allies. Spain, Austria, Portugal, Poland, and Sweden. We have so many allies. We might even want to go for a diplomatic idea group. Just to get those two extra relations might be really useful. Or the expansion to get an extra colonist and an extra merchant and the extra relations. That might be useful too. Yeah, I don't know. They're both useful. Kill the rebels. There you go. Get the fuck out of dodge. Stupid rebels. What do you know, you stupid rebels? That's right, you don't know nothing. You don't know jack. Man, Castile really lucked out here. His colony is freaking colonizing. He, his colony has exploration. Wouldn't that be nice if my colonies had exploration? But they don't. Oh, Portugal's. Portugal's colony now has exploration. None of mine do. Damn it. I want exploration too. Ooh, the nation of Aztec has started to westernize. So how does that work then? I haven't looked through the new westernization procedure, but... It's certainly been changed. How does that work now? I don't know. Do you guys... Here, I'm going to give you access. Um, oh, he doesn't want it. Really? Potawatomi is at war with the Huron. For some reason. But he doesn't want access to go kill him. Oh, do you have access to my vassal, maybe? Uh, no, you don't have access to my vassal. Maybe maybe he'll ask my vassal for access. I don't know. 
In any case, um, just go stand over here. Or, or go, or go up there, whatever. Go wherever. Alright, the Hansa, they kept their alliance with France, even though France totally let them down in that war. They kept their alliance anyway. And we have a free diplomat. Alright, well, yeah, Austria needs hugs. Keep people happy, damn it. Okay, okay, the Pope is improving relations, very good. Hmm. We'll keep it somewhere around there. Jumbo, gumbo, jambalaya. Mmm, delicious. We should probably wait for more alliances to form. Because the more alliances that form, the more easily it'll be to go and next stuff. Although we could probably invade Potawatomi in an next... Oh, that's what I want to... Fuck. How do I keep forgetting I want to go invade Oyo? I need to do that before we run out of our op our chances here. Yeah, we can just go next their shit. Uh, yeah, just get on the damn boat. Let's go to Oyo. What's up, Oyo? Ten guys should be enough for Oyo. Their tech is kind of backwards. You didn't westernize, did you? No, okay, good. Mali westernized. They, well, they westernized real early, but Oyo never did. Right, come on, shippy ships. Ooh, colonial conflict. Hold on, hold on. Uh, what happened? Lose prestige, liberty desire, liberty desire, or lose diplo power. We'll lose the diplo power. I don't want to lose prestige. Are you crazy? You out your goddamn mind. Oh, what? What are you doing over there? You were on the boat. My dudes got off the boat on their own. <laughs> Somehow. What the hell? How did you get off the boat? I never told you to get off the boat. I don't even know. Invade. Oh, we beat their navy too, so we're gonna get some naval tra naval tradition. Cool. Um. Yeah, you know what? Kill them first, and then we can just sort of split up teams of two. There you go. That's the spirit. And our statesman died. No. We still have this guy. He's 67 years old. He's just living forever. That's amazing. But yeah, let's split up into groups of two. You are level two forts. Yeah, they're all all level two. Okay, good. That's kind of what I expected. There you go. Siege all the things. Now, most likely this is going to cost us 250 Diplo points to take all this crap. So instead of doing that, we'll take everything except their capital, and then we'll take their capital later for only 50. It'd be much cheaper. Ooh, disagreeing advisor. Yay, free points. Stability go. Oh, that's right, I wanted to do manpower buildings. How did you guys... Damn it, Twitch chat, you're supposed to remind me to do manpower buildings. I have all this money and all these points, and we're not doing manpower buildings because... Because you didn't remind me. It's all your fault, Twitch chat. I'm so disappointed in you right now. Oh, but it's okay, though. I just did it. I just did it. It's okay. Can't be my fault. I'm drunk. Yes, this is randomized map. This is the new DLC called Conquest of Paradise. France gets a claim on my ca on my old capital. Oh, that's nice. Just randomly, France gets a claim on my old capital. That's good, yeah. Let's increase tensions with France. No, all, all Portugal did is they made him convert to Catholic and they took 50 ducats. 
Huh. So Portugal did not annex... Uh, what do you call it? Galicia. For some reason, they just like, nah. Whatever. Provence, do you want to be my vassal? You could totally be my vassal. He's like, nah. Let's get relations up down there. Milan somehow still has their union over Bosnia. Nah, they're, they're gonna lose it. <laughs> He's at negative 45 prestige. If the union... Uh, if the king dies with the negative prestige like this, then you lose the union. He's 71. He's going to die. They're going to lose the union. You got to get positive prestige if you want to keep the union, damn it. And he's not doing that. He's just being derpy. Derpy, derpy. Alright, come on. Finish up. Finish all these sieges. One thing to note is when you're sieging provinces... Inland provinces, provinces that do not have a port, will siege faster than provinces that do have a port. Unless you blockade the port. So if we were blockading the ports, these provinces would probably be done by now. It's just a thing. It's part of the game. Don't worry about it. It's okay. It's all good in the hood. Okay, I saw something about somebody ceding something to Kado. Yeah, the Aztecs are down to one province now. Cute. Well, the Aztecs have cores on a lot of shit, don't they? Not that it matters, but they do. And... Oh, wow, that's a lot of rebels. Totemism zealots. Kill them, kill them, and kill them. And this is getting a little silly. My vassals are not able to keep the rebels down. You would think they would. But no, they can't. Alright, and it was done. Hmm. Kill them. So where do I want to colonize next? Um, I'll, I'll let my vassals do these, because they're inland. It's only four provinces anyway, and they can do that whenever they want. Uh, let's continue on down here, shall we? Let's go um, for the Caribbean area thing. Yeah. Go do that. We should probably drop some dudes down there as well. Where's my transports? There they are. Two transports. Um, I can't really go through there, so we'll just come up here. I'll pick you up right there. Tuscany will cede Florence to the Pope. Tuscany will renounce their claims on Romagna. Tuscany will release Corsica as a sovereign state. Okay, so the Pope has connected his lands without going through Ancona. I've never, ever in my life seen this. The Pope always goes through Ancona to connect his lands, but this time he took Florence. So Tuscany only has one province now. They used to look like a nice regional power, but now they're down to one province. They lost Modena, Romagna, Florence, Pisa, Siena. I don't think they ever had uh, Ferrara, but they also lost Corsica. So down to one province now. They're stuck on an island, and look at all these goddamn claims. Oh my god. They're not going to live very long. They have one ally, and Hungary doesn't have a navy, so it doesn't matter. All right, who wants hugs? It's a competition. Someone has to want hugs. If you don't, you are evil. Oh, there we go. Sweden wants hugs. You got it, Sweden. You got it, bro. Bro. Kill them. Kill the damn rebels. You didn't kill them. But they are dead, so it's okay. How goes the sieging, huh? Pretty good? Yeah, one more to go. All right. Let's see if the same rules apply um, as far as annexing stuff. It probably will. The same rules as the Native Americans, I mean. It probably will have the same rules. Uh, 24 days. We'll find out. Yep, same rule. So we can take everything except this capital, and then we'll take this capital later for only 50. Do you have any money? Eh, it's a little bit of money. Um, I don't care about you releasing anything. And blah, blah, doesn't matter. Give me your trade power, and whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. Beautiful. Now, we could core all this stuff. It'd probably be pretty cheap. Uh, um, oh, it's actually too far away to core. Interesting. Most likely, we'll just sit around and not do anything, and then we'll declare war again, 
annex them, and then we, that five provinces should be enough to have a, a colonial company over here. Breton, West Africa, or whatever. But uh, before we do that, let's convert everything. You guys can just go on and hunt rebels down there. Portugal's probably going to call us into the war against Morocco, I'm guessing. And we still have so much money. My god. My god. Uh, you're all done. You're all done. Workshop. More goods. Yeah, more goods. Why not? I don't even know what we produce anymore, but it doesn't matter. Build it. We probably have a lot of fish. Crap like that. And we can colonize all this shit, too. So that'll be nice. Something to do. Something to do. Alright, so we have Morone and St. Thomas. Ooh, tobacco. Nice. Uh, yeah, have you reached the coast yet? Yes, you have. Okay, get on the boat. And we're going to take you to Morone and uh, St. Thomas. You can deal with the rebels. Or the natives there, not the rebels. The natives. Same thing. Rebels, natives. You say potato. I say rebels. Armories are done. Yay, manpower. So our max manpower is with the 37,600. Nice. Who wants hugs? Oh my god, Poland, you're getting ass raped. Poor Poland. Well, at least it's nice to know that Austria, our ally, is very strong. Very strong. Good Austria. Very strong. Did that say you're in a coalition against me? No. I'm like, well, you're the only ones in the coalition. I'm not sure what the point of that would be. But no, they're not in the coalition. There is no coalition against us. We're too nice to have a coalition, right? We're just very supportive and gentle and nice. That's us. Okay, max relations with Russia again. But um, they haven't put any effort towards us, so they're not really interested in alliance. Okay, let me take a look at what Savoy has as far as numbers. I bet they have a decent army. Mm, well, 29,000. Okay, it's not decent. It's okay. France still has the biggest army, and that manpower that France has is just fucking scary. Russia, surprisingly, does not have that big of an army. You know why? Because they haven't colonized. They can't colonize. I, I am going to be just... I'm going to be doing cartwheels if Perm takes expansion or exploration and starts colonizing. They should, but they probably won't. I have seen uh, Novgorod form Russia, and they never, ever took exploration or expansion, so they never colonized. I've also seen Twer form Russia, and they never take exploration or expansion, so they never colonize. I doubt Perm will ever take it either. Even if they survive, they'll probably never take it. Uh, it's sort of a, a Muscow only thing. Only Muscovy can do it. Right? Yep, expansion 7. So Muscovy, if they form Russia, they keep their Muscovy ideas, which includes expansion, and then the Russian ideas also give you a colonist. But um, the Russian ideas are based on Muscovy only. In other words, if... Uh, uh, not Perm, if uh, Novgorod or Tver or someone, if one of those guys forms Russia, they keep their same national ideas. They don't get those specific Muscovy ideas, so they don't get that free colonist. It's so stupid. They really should, but they don't. Alright, we'll get our manpower up. We'll go attack Potawatomi. I keep saying we're going to get our manpower up, and we never do. Whoa, we're up to 42,000 manpower now. So nice. Well, as our cap. We still, have a way to, we still have a ways to go, my friend. Yeah, Austria's not really doing any reforms, are they? They're kind of sitting on the first reform with zero authority, and they have only four electors. That is just bad. Oh, it's Savoy. Savoy is the emperor now. What? Uh-oh, Poland needs help against... Really? Huh? Oh, come on. You're going to drag me into this war against Austria? Now, this should not happen. He's been at war with Austria for years. 
For years, he's been at war with Austria. It doesn't say when it started, but it started, I want to say, 15 years ago. And he's going to drag me into this war. This is so stupid. You should not be able to drag someone into a war that started 15 years ago, but that's exactly what's happening here. I'm sorry, Poland. I can't do it. I'm really sorry, Poland. Negative 84. What can I say? I'm not going to do that. That's dumb. God, that's stupid. And that's going to take forever to go away. Dishonored Alliance, negative 100, and refuse to join a war at negative 50. It's negative 150 instant if you don't join their war. But that was stupid. That's not my fault. That's a stupid game mechanic. I shouldn't get so upset over that. It's not like it's new. It's just annoying. Yes, give me prestige. Thank you, Baroque Music. Thanks, Obama. Oh, have you arrived at the colony yet? Yes, you have. All right, let's go pick up one more moron over here. Can I please to have one moron? Thank you so much. Moron, go. We'll just, just deposit him down here. I really wish my colonies would colonize, you know? <sighs> Spain just got super lucky that his colonies are colonizing. Claims on arrivals, okay. New governor in Brexico. What do they want? They want, um, they just want that, that's fine. allied with Poland pretty much since day one, you know? And it's just like, nope. Oh, Crimea took a whole bunch of land from Kara Koinlu. Really? Oh, wow, that's a very large Crimea. Got our workshops done, very good. Very large Crimea. And they're not allied with the Ottomans. Probably because the Ottomans are so tiny now. Ooh, Byzantium is attacking the Ottomans? Oh, no, the Ottomans are attacking Byzantium. Wait, what? The war is called the Ottoman Conquest of Epirus. Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, but... Oh, that's a deer. Not, yeah, yeah, see, I've been drinking. So the Ottomans are attacking for Epirus, yeah. Uh, but I've been drinking, so that's not my problem. Not my problem. Dun, 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 dun. Not my problem. Dun, 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 dun. Not my problem. Dun, 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 dun. Not my problem. Your relations up there. Saxony, sure, get relations up there. And convert more lands. Yes, please. So how long until this is up? That's what she said. Uh, 1612, okay. Well, why don't we call that an episode here? Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time where we'll continue to colonize in this wonderful, mysterious new world. I'll see you then. Have a good day.